Hi, this is Lisa Love to Crochet and Knit. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this cute little owl with googly eyes. So, I'm going to show you what you need. A pair of scissors, a crochet hook size H, a tapestry needle, and a pair of googly eyes, and then some yarn um, I'm using gray and then I have a little bit of yellow and a little bit of orange for the nose and the toes. So let's get started. You're going to start with a uh, magic ring or magic loop. And so I chain one and then I do 10 half double crochets in the loop. Okay, I pulled it tight and I slip stitch to the beginning and I chain one and I do two half double crochets in each stitch around. I always include that chain one and that one half double crochet in the same space. I count that as two. So just going to continue to do two double two half double crochets in each stitch around. Okay, so I've completed that second row and I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning. I'm going to chain one. I'm going to pull that center a little bit tight and I'm going to put one half double crochet in that same stitch. And then I'm going to put two half double crochets or one half double crochet, I'm sorry, in the next stitch and then two half double crochets in the following stitch. So I'm just going to continue to do that until I I'm going to stop about four stitches before the end. So I'll meet you back there. Okay, I've stopped four stitches before the the beginning of the row. And I'm going to take the googly eyes. Actually I gotta bend them. Be careful because there probably is a breaking point, so be very careful. And these are the Amazon ones. They're not the ones from um, five below that are a different kind of plastic. I don't know if I could bend those, but I'm just gonna bend them a little bit. And then I'm going to, I did one half double crochet, so I actually have three. And I'm just going to take and start doing one half double crochet around those googly eyes and in that next loop and I'm going to put two in that same stitch. I'm going to continue to follow my pattern and then in the next one I'm going to put one and then in the next one I'm going to put two so the googly eyes are attached and then I'm just going to slip stitch to the beginning and I'm going to chain one and cut my yarn and then I'm going to get some more pull up the other end of that yarn and I'm going to make a slip knot on my hook and I'm going to go in the second stitch from the left eye and I'm going to whoops I'm going to single crochet whoops here I'm going to single crochet that to the owl head I did it again okay so there's my single crochet and I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to treble crochet in that same st space as a single crochet in that same stitch and then I'm going to do another treble crochet in that same stitch. And then I'm going to chain three 
and I'm going to go on the back loop and I'm just going to slip stitch that down so it looks like a little um, little point and so now I'm going to do another um, treble crochet and this stitch right here is the next stitch I'm just pulling the owl's eye a little bit here and I like to once I'm doing the treble crochet I stop and I hold that loop and I go into the back part of that loop again of the other treble crochet and then I complete the treble crochet and that holds that that um, stitch together and I'm just gonna do another treble crochet in that same space and then I'm gonna chain three one two three and then slip stitch to the beginning to the same space that you just came out of and then I chain one and cut my yarn and there you have one eye of the owl and then the other side, I take some more yarn and then I make a slip knot on my or a slip knot on my crochet hook and then I tighten it to my hook and I go in the second chain from the, the right side of the eye and I single crochet that to the owl's head to start the other eye. And then I chain three and then I do a treble crochet in that same space and then another treble crochet in that same space and then I'm gonna chain three and then I'm gonna go on the back loop and I'm just gonna slip stitch that down and then I'm gonna do a treble crochet and this stitch right here if I lift up my work, it's the next stitch, but I'm going to go around it like I did the other one. So I'm just going to go in through there and I'm going to do another um, treble crochet, but I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to pull up that loop through there and I'm going to take that off my hook and I'm going to insert my hook into the back of that or into that stitch for the treble crochet, just part of it. It's kind of a little tedious little thing. You pull up that loop and then you complete the treble crochet and that'll keep those stitches together. And then I do another treble crochet in that same space. Whoops. And then I chain three, two, three, and then I slip stitch that to that beginning of where that stitch came out. And then I chain one, cut my work, my working yarn rather. And then there you have the little eyes and you could leave it like this to start weaving in the ends. And then I'm going to take some more yarn for the same color gray and I'm gonna make a um, slip knot again put it on my crochet hook and I'm gonna go into the bottom part here so I only go in about four stitches so you could probably do five six you can do whatever you choose but so I'm gonna start one, two, three, four, five. So that'll be five if I do from there to there. So I'm gonna mark that so you can see. So there's one, two, three, four, five stitches from there to there. And I'm gonna start in this on the bottom. Tighten that knot there. 
and I'm going to single crochet that again to my work. I'm going to chain one to three and then I'm going to do another treble crochet in that same stitch. And then in the next stitch I'm going to do two treble crochets. And in the last stitch I'm going to do one treble crochet and one chain three. I'll show you. Okay, the bottom part um, of the the thing I'm to the last one to the fifth stitch and I've done one treble crochet in there and now I'm going to chain three and I'm going to slip stitch that back to the the body of that and I'm going to chain one I'm going to cut my yarn so there's my little owl and then I'm going to start working on the nose and the toes and for the um, toes I'm going to do yellow and I'm going to put a little branch in there okay so I have my yellow yarn and my orange yarn both threaded to show you and I have a little twig so I find it easier to do the toes when you already have your little twig or what you're going to put for the feet and I just simply go in on the bottom and I make sure I have a tail, leave myself a little bit of a tail. And come back over this way. And I go in through here. Just gently pull around that twig. You don't need to make it real tight. And then, so I just have, have just the ends. I don't have anything knotted. And then I go in on the other side to make it look like it's got toes. Little two little feet there. You can see. And then I come in through the back and I go onto the other side and I pull up and I go over on top to the other side. And then I go to the other side of that to make it look like it's feet a little bit even there. And I go in right through the same spot so it looks like they're kind of they are attached to that. And then in the back, I simply will just give it a s simple knot. Oops. And then I snip those ends, and I'm done with the yellow. And then the orange, I take it, and I go in down below here to make it look like down here for the beak. And I go in just in between there and I'll just pull up a couple loops through the same spot so I'm just making it a little owl until I think I've done for the beak and I turn it around I'll give it a little tight little snug not too tight and then just give it another knot on the back here and I snip my ends and there you have it a cute little owl so thanks for watching like and subscribe